A warm welcome to St George's Anglican Church Paris uh, on this Tuesday the 26th of May for morning prayer. Today the church uh, remembers Augustine, Archbishop of Canterbury, who died in the year 605, John Calvin, reformer, um, who died in 1564, and Philip Neri, founder of the Oratorians uh, and um, Apostle of Rome, who died in 1595. In uh, their own ways each of these three people were all uh, re-founders um, and restorers of Christian life and living. We give thanks to God um, for the results of their work and we pray uh, that like them our faith uh, might be restored. Um, the psalm appointed for today is Psalm 99. Psalm 99. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Creator God, to be praise and glory for ever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your Spirit on us today that we may walk as children of light and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The Lord is king, let the peoples tremble. He is enthroned above the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion and high above all peoples. Let them praise your name, which is great and awesome. The Lord our God is holy. Mighty king who loves justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God, bow down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the law that he gave them. You answered them, O Lord our God. You were a God who forgave them and pardoned them for their offences. Exalt the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy throne. Holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Lord God, mighty King, you love justice and establish equity. May we love justice more than gain and mercy more than power. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from your all your uncleannesses. A new heart I will give you, and put a new spirit within you, and I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. The reading is from Luke chapter 8. Soon afterwards he went on through cities and villages, proclaiming the, and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, as well as some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, and Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their own res out of their resources. When a great crowd gathered, and people from town after town came to him, he said in a parable, A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell on the path and was trampled on, and the birds of the air ate it up. Some fell on the rock, and as it grew up, it withered for lack of moisture. Some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. Some fell into good soil, and when it grew, it produced a hundredfold. As he said this, he called out, Let anyone with ears to hear listen. Then the disciples asked him to, what this parable meant. He said, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but to others I speak in parables, so that they may, looking they may not perceive, and listening they may not understand. Now this is the parable is this, the seed is the word of God, the ones on the path are those who have heard, then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. The ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy, but these have no root, they believe only for a while and in a time of testing fall away. As for what fell among the thorns, these are the ones who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by, choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not mature. But as for that, in the good soil, these are the ones who, when they hear the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart, and bear fruit with patient endurance. 
Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. Christ has gone up on high and has led captivity captive. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ has gone up on high, and has led captivity captive. So let us pray for the day and its tasks, for the world and its needs, and for the Church and her life. Almighty God, whose servant Augustine was sent as the Apostle of the English people, Grant that as he laboured in the spirit to preach Christ's gospel in this new land, so all who hear the good news may strive to make your truth known in all the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Being made one in the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.